A popular ocean view pier is back from the dead, and it's gearing up for a grand reopening. You know, mm -hmm. two years ago, it was a heartbreaking sight mm -hmm. for many people who loved Harrison's Pier. That was a scene from, this is a scene, scene from Sky 13, just after Hurricane Isabel. The pier was smashed to pieces by the wind and waves, but now it's been rebuilt. And as 13 News reporter Joe Flanagan tells us, even though some waves were made by neighbors about building the new pier, it's bigger and better than the last one. These are the images of the new Ocean View Fishing Pier that takes the place of the Harrison's Pier destroyed by Hurricane Isabel. The Boone family started construction a year ago last summer. We're six foot higher than the old pier, so we can withstand the six foot taller wave, and if we, if we do lose a section of the pier, it's just going to be a small section here or there at a time. It's not going to be uh, just a domino effect like what, what happened with Isabel. Fishing was free on Tuesday, and Ronnie says over 700 people showed up. And I, I really like it. I like the seats on here. This is going to be real nice. The look is definitely an upgrade from the landscaping to the signage. I admire the palm trees on the, oh, the front is just gorgeous, and the buildings, everything here is beautiful. The Boons say they're sensitive to their neighbors' concerns and the sale of alcohol. The old pier didn't have a restaurant. We go uh, for our ABC here in this week and, and um, have our fingers crossed, and I think that, that, uh, that'll be in our favor, we hope. The view from the upper deck here is spectacular. Now, Ronnie tells us the pier is 1,690 feet long, and that makes it the longest fishing pier in North America. And they hope during striper season it's going to get really busy out here. And this is striper season. Joe Flanagan, 13 News, Ocean View. Love those stripers. The cost of the